Welcome back, Tool fans, tonight. You guys know we've been to a bunch of shows in the last few weeks, but nothing like this. That's right, Sarah and I are at SEMA 2023. We've got a bunch of cool cars and tools to show you, all coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and we are at SEMA 2023, and I'm in heaven. <laughs> it really is extremely overwhelming. There is a mountain of stuff to see. Of course, we're here to look for some tools, but we might accidentally run into some couple of cool cars Just and a couple trucks cars. <laughs> while we're on the way. So what do you guys say we get started? Let's go. Big Ass Fan. And luckily, we've got our new friend Prince here to tell us all about what's going on at Big Ass Fans. Prince, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're known for the overhead industrial fans. That's our bread and butter. Originally rolled out in 1999. Uh, got into the agricultural uh, industry, cooling cattle. Found out that ca cows, when they're cooled, they produce more milk. No and, kidding. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. So then we branch out into manufacturing, distribution, and now we got fans at just about anywhere. Um, what we're doing new now, we got the evaporative coolers over here on the far right. Yeah, let's go take a look at those. So, like I said, we're known for the overhead. Oh this is gosh. what's new. This is the evaporative cooler, uh, prime for dry climate areas. Get up to about 30 degrees cooling effect for these uh, units. And outside of these, if you can't do the evap cooler, we've got these portable floor fans as well. This is unbelievable how cold that feels. Right. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh my Up gosh. Up to a 30 degree cooling effect in like desert climate. Wow. And more humid, you'll see about 10 to 15 degree cooling on those. All right, and then how much space can I expect to this on unit, a unit that, like this. This one that moves the most air as far as air velocity, you're gonna get about 3,600 square feet of coverage. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the one above it, about 6,500. Okay, and feet. how much something like this cost? This one at SEMA, we are doing 2950 It lists at $4,299. $4,299. Yes, sir. That's it, for this thing right here. Yes, sir. That just changes the temperature yep. of like 3,000 square feet. Yes, sir. And we ship them out in three to five business days, so. No kidding, that's awesome. <laughs> that is great. Well, Prince, yes, thanks sir. so much, man. It's really Thank nice you, to meet Robert. you, appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, Enjoy well, hang it. on. If we want to learn more about Big Ass Fans, where do we go? Please go to BigAssFans.com, and you can reach me at Prince.Stewart at BigAssFans.com. Prince.Stewart, thanks, Prince. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the Channel Lock booth. My buddy Mark here is going to tell us what's going on at Channel Lock, what's new. I'm super excited, man. Awesome, awesome. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of your hand tools. I've used them for a long time. Okay. But uh, these, these look great. Tell us what you're excited about right now. Yeah, so the, my favorite thing is, I mean, obviously we're known for channel lock pliers, right? Of course, right? of course, yes. Yeah, that's what people the call this. The namesake, yeah. Yeah, right. This is uh, what we call our speed grip. And it's not so much because of the grip, it's actually because of the action here. We've got multiple positions, so you can easily take this down, slide it into position, and you're at work, okay? Now, we also have the same thing in a V-jaw, just like so, and do the same thing here. And this one, the benefit of the V-jaw is that it can be self-gripping, okay? So we've got that there. The other thing that we have is uh, adjustable wrenches, okay? And the cool thing about these is this is our reversible jaw adjustable wrench. Again, self-gripping. Put this thing down here and where that little tick mark is, as long as you don't bottom it out and you put it down there, it will grip perfectly every time. Wow. Okay. Jeez. So, and we've got four sizes of these. We've got three sizes of the um, speed grips and two in the V-jaw. And we also now have, this is brand new, and this is probably the newest one, is locking pliers. And the key makes this thing a little bit different. It's epoxy coated versus okay. nickel or chrome plated. Yeah. So if you're welding with it, you don't have to worry about spatter getting on the materials around you. And you don't have to worry about that nauseous gas that you usually breathe in, right? Yeah. Um, the other thing that I like probably the most about it is the fact that it's a single hand release and it won't pinch your fingers. So I put this on whatever material. 
now, just that quick. Yeah. It releases. You don't have to worry about pinching and pushing yeah. it down in the reverse action. Very cool. And those, other than the new line of screwdrivers that we have, are the newest things from Channel. Very cool. Actually, can I see the screwdrivers? Absolutely. Let's go check them out. Yeah. So, you know, we kind of went back to basics and we use a natural finish. This is a vacuum heat treated shaft. Um, this product, like many of our other ones, are 100% made in USA. Awesome. And we use precision uh, ground CNC mill tips on them. We went with a tri lobe handle and we went with a single material. Uh, so that a lot of the dual molds, they either separate from themselves, especially under a certain chemical. Sure. Um, and we also, but this one also is very solvent resistant for things like brake fluids and cleaners and things of that nature that are often found in the shop. So back to simplicity, we've got them in obviously Phillips and Flatheads. We have Robertson's. Here's a Torx, Torx as well. the yep. traditional black oxided shaft. All right. Again, 100% USA. And then we've also got some um, some new demo drivers. So you can hit some oh, additional torque on and you can yeah. hammer them on the head there and it's a full shaft all the way through to the cap. Awesome. That's great. Okay, if you guys watched our episode a couple weeks ago from Nika, you probably saw me meet Pete here from Knipix. This time we got a couple other cool things to see, don't we? Yes, we do. We've got the electrician shear. This is the 950520. Let me show you how easy it is to cut battery cable. I'm going to show you this battery cable right here. Look yeah, at that. thick. Yeah. Not fake. It's a real battery cable. Watch how easy this is. Slip it in the cutters. That's it. And you're done. That's the 950520 Knipix Electrician Shears. Love it. That's awesome. They're a little terrifying, but I can see why you need it. Oh, absolutely. Now, what about, though, I mean, I'm, I'm a pure SEMO. Yep. No one has helped me make a Deutsch connector, though. We got a solution for you. <laughs> what? No, it's <That's laughs> great. Let's this, see it. This just came out. This is the 975267DT. Oh, the DT, yeah. DT or Deutsch connector, okay? Yep, there it is. All we're going to do is inside this little funnel area, we're going to crimp right inside of there. Right? Okay. All right. So I've already set this up just to make it a little bit easier for us. I'm going to drop this in. That's the pin. I've got the wire already inside of it. I'm going to drop it in here. All I'm going to do is squeeze the handle all the way till it ends, pull it back out. And there is our Deutsch connector crimped together on the Look pin. Yeah. Look at that. Easy. Very, very right? nice. All right, guys, we just walked into the DJS booth where we saw these really cool dollies that all seem to have a bunch of different adapters on them to do different things. Kim here is here to fill us in on all of it. Kim, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Hi. Yes. So tell us about this dolly. So each dolly is capable of holding 4,000 pounds each. The, the set here comes with a stand. It comes with four dollies, Ooh. which would hold 16,000 pounds. It comes with a pinch weld adapter. You can also take this off. You can use it for the wheel. You can use it for the hub. So there's all different universal ways of using this dolly. So whatever you need to move around your shop, you're gonna have a different way to attach it. Yes. But it's a solid attachment. Yes. We saw in one of your photos, you actually had it holding up a helicopter. So I could conveniently move my helicopter around the house. You could. Love that idea. Yeah. Awesome, so how much is a full set like this that comes with all four in the, in the little rack? Well, normally about 1600, but okay. for the show, they're 1250. Awesome, thanks Kim, appreciate it. Great. to the Harbor Freight booth. We've got a bunch of different things that we want to see. But the first thing that caught my eye is this trailer. It says only a thousand bucks on it, but it looks way too nice for that. So luckily I got Troy here to tell me all about it. Troy, thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Robert, thanks, buddy. Tell me all about this new trailer. So the awesome thing about this trailer, if you know anything about the trailers that Harbor Freight currently makes, people take them and customize them. Yes, oh, very common. So that the campers and stuff I've even seen. They was, yeah. yeah. So that was the whole input behind this is why not let's make a trailer that you can bolt on accessories so there's no welding, oh. drilling, painting. You can customize this thing anything you want. So we sell the base trailer for $9.99. Okay. And that's like the flatbed part, right? Yep. That's just the flatbed part. But okay. it comes with uh, LED lighting all the way around, plug and play wire harness. The wire harness runs down inside the frame so it's fully protected. Wow. So at every light location, you just plug it in all the way around, done. No soldering, no crimping, no nothing. Oh, that's like. The cool thing about this trailer is this dual rail system. 
This dual rail system is on all four sides of the trailer, and it's what t attaches all these components. So, oh, so your railing, your tie downs, you put your all tie down stuff. anywhere you want. You put it front of the trailer, back of the trailer, get it where you want it, tie it down, done. Love it, absolutely love it. So, How much is the rail? This rail, yeah. So the rail accessory is one ninety nine. Okay, so a thousand bucks for my trailer to start. Yep. Two hundred bucks. I've actually got the railing right. You got to the go. railing, and the okay. railing bolts on. Now the other nice thing about this trailer is most trailers you see at the other stores have this railing. Those trailers have to have that for strength. We don't. All of our strength oh. is in our rail system, so you can actually take this down and forkload product onto your trailer. No kidding, I love yeah. that. Removable polymer fenders, why? Do those come with them? It does come with okay, it. Okay, so yeah, tell me why. The, the reason is, what do you do with a trailer fender? You run into things. You yeah. break them, you dent them, they rust. Okay, so it's replaceable. This thing, you take four bolts out, pull it off, put a new one on here. Right, that's all that's pretty great. Yep. Not mad at that either. Yep. So can I get ramps for this thing? You can, as a matter of fact. So we do have a ramp kit, $114.99, comes with two aluminum ramps. That store away underneath? That store underneath, that's bolt on as well underneath the trailer. This is a ramp finger system, so you put your ramp there, you're holding place during loading. Look at that. So adding ramps like this that store inside costs 115 bucks. That's for the ramps and the storage system. And what? it also includes stabilizer jacks. The reason those are important, is when you load something on the back of a trailer, these will come down and they'll take the stress off the back of the trailer while you're loading. But more important, this class of trailer is normally towed by very light vehicles. Yeah. If you load something heavy without these, it'll actually pick it back into the vehicle yeah, up and you'll roll. So this is oh, a safety smart. feature, plus it saves the frame. How much are those guys? That comes with the ramp kit for 140. Oh, come on, this is awesome. Yep. So again, all the LEDs are recessed in, well protected, even the stop turn tails. Notice how they're not hanging out so you don't bang yeah. your shim, you yep. don't run into things with it. And so they come with the brake lights yes. already built into that. That's at the thousand bucks. Yep. Oh, I love it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man, what a great project um, starting point. Tires, 13 inch radial tires. So they have a 80 mile an hour speed rating oh my. and crazy load rating, much better than bias fly, which is what most of these trailers come with. Yeah. And then, once you get all your accessories on, we also include these cover straps, so you can cut these and then fill in if you want to. All the gaps. Around the gaps. Yeah. Very nice. So how soon are these guys gonna be available? So we're gonna have these available in stores probably around June, July next year. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again, but appreciate it. Robert, thanks. Yeah, you guys have a great show. Thank you. We couldn't come into the Harbor Freight booth without talking about hand tools. Luckily, I got my friend Steven here to fill me in on what's going on with Icon. Steven, you got a lot of stuff for us today. Yeah, so first, Icon's been around since about 2018. Uh, we've ranged, we've uh, expanded a lot of wrenches, sockets, ratchets, but now this year we're focusing on pliers, hammers, and whatnot. Today, we have a few new pliers that are gonna be coming out in January, February timeframe, ranging from electrical work, fast adjust, three positions, leverage pliers, as well as hose clamp pliers that let you lock in and it locks onto that clamp and then you can pivot it in any direction without it coming off that hose clamp. Some pistol grip pliers with a, a unique jaw configuration that really allows you to grip onto those fasteners and then with the pistol grip, you can really tighten and get that additional leverage and pull off. Outside of pliers though, or we also have these, oh, uh, we call S-jaw quick adjust pliers. These are great for round rods or tie rod work because you have this S-jaw configuration so as this cinches down, it can lock onto a, a rounded rod really well. But then instead of this dial, you actually have a push button that allows you oh, to adjust you quickly, quickly yeah. and you can lock it right on. Plus the comfort grip as you bolt down onto those rods, you have that comfort in your hand. This will be available in 12 inch, 17 inch, and 21 inch. Awesome, can you show me some of the kits? Absolutely. Let's go. So coming out in February, we'll have a quarter inch service kit. What's unique about this is it actually has foam inserts that allows you to take it out and you can adjust it however you want in your toolbox. Oh, nice. This will be available in quarter inch as well as the three eighths. And then lastly, coming in late next year, our popular bit set, we're actually expanding this into a actual Ooh. socket set that oh, has metric oh, and yeah. SAE. So nice compact design.
The handle is a G10 material with a carbon fiber inlay. So you actually get a really lightweight feel, but with a durable, uh, durable strong blade. This is uh, launching at $39.99 and again, available in stores this month. Not bad at all. We're at SEMA, so of course we're gonna talk about impact wrenches, right? This is my new buddy Rob from Harbor Freight, talking about the Hercules lineup, which is, just keeps getting bigger and better. Rob, tell us about what you guys have. Yeah, just now, we're coming out with an updated version of our Ultra Torque half-inch impact wrench. We've added 100 foot-pounds of max bolt breakaway. We're now at 1,500 foot-pounds of max bolt breakaway, 1,000 foot-pounds of max fastening torque, and still has that auto mode feature. So this one, with the auto mode, is able to slow the nut removal process so you don't fling it across the room after it breaks free. So you weren't you weren't feathering the trigger that just then, you're holding the trigger. 100%. It senses that you break it, it slows down, and then helps you, that's awesome. Exactly. Okay. And then it'll fastening, it keeps that auto mode on, it'll stop the tool from continuing to over tighten that fastener. And it stopped it, and it's around that same 250 foot pounds, 300 foot pounds that we started with. That's so cool. that's the updated version of our Ultra Torque. Coming out in December, we have the new three quarter inch impact wrench as well. Yeah. And actually, we just used the three quarter inch. I was gonna say, that was the three quarter, wasn't it? Yep, that there was you the go. three quarter. And so what's this the what's breakaway and tightening on that one? 1,650 foot-pounds of Ooh. max bolt breakaway, yeah. 1,100 foot-pounds of fastening torque, and it comes out in December, end of December, right around Christmas time. That's awesome. All right, TTC, we want to know what you guys think. Hey, oh. Also available, we've updated our compact impact wrenches. This is the next generation model. So that's Gen 2. Yep. Awesome. Out of stores, same price as the original model, now has auto mode, just like all of the bigger impact wrenches oh, did that's cool. before. And at 500 and 525 foot pounds, 3 8 sample, half inch in. Wonderful. And then I want to make sure everybody knows the extended anvil, we have, yeah. We still have our high torque, right? We have a yep. high torque at Harbor Freight and an ultra torque at Harbor Freight. Our high torque is 1,200 foot pounds of max bolt breakaway, and it's the same tool with the extended anvil here. We really think that these are designed mostly for those tire changing jobs. You're just running lug nuts all day. Yeah. These are perfect for that. If you need deep well sockets or just your standard right there. That's our new line of impact wrenches. That was perfect. I don't know what that big horn means, but I think we're done. Okay. Rob, it's great to <laughs> meet you. Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks. All right, guys, a lot more to see. We're in the Flex booth at SEMA 2023. I'm here with one of my best friends, Grant. I have a shirt to prove it. We'll get that later. Yeah, we will. So, Grant, this is one of the first times I've gotten to see the Flex stack yes. pack system all decked out on the wall, yes. all organized. This looks fantastic. Tell us, how is this working out for mechanics? Yeah, so this is our uh, wave two of stack pack stuff. So the big things that we're coming out with this year is the um, one drawer cabinet, the two drawer, and the three drawer. So these are really gonna allow people to work with their stack packs in the shops, wheeling it around, making it a little bit more accessible and usable for, for them on their day-to-day -day stuff. Um, one other thing we're coming out with this year is we have the new transit system we're coming out with. So this shelf is a zero clearance shelf, which allows it to fold completely flat against the wall. Yeah. Um, so when you're setting up your um, your vans and your stuff, you're going out to job sites, it's gonna save you room in the back. So when you're walking through, you're not trying to get as skinny as possible to try to get through right? everything. It's it's really allowing you to have more room um, on the go. I would think with some of your accessory packs too being on there, you could store them you know, vertically and then lift them up, snap totally. them up quickly in order to open them up, get the parts out. Totally. I love that. Totally. Yeah, converting like that is going to be really useful. Something else that we are working on right now and it actually just released is our wall mounting system. So our wall mounting system has these two brackets on the back, um, which are go on the walls. They're on 16, so you're not going to have any issue you know, finding a stud or anything Perfect. like that. There's no. There's no mollies or uh, you know anchor points that we need to put in. And these guys are what you just screw on to any of your yep. stack any, pack. Any of them it works on, yep. Very and the cool. really cool thing that this allows us to do that not a lot of other companies are doing, I actually haven't seen anybody else doing it, is um, when it comes to uh, moving a bunch of objects, right? So here, we have that same system connected into the front of our roller bar. Oh, that's awesome. And that's gonna allow me to take two stack packs
thinking this is going to be great for uh, you know mobile detailers, guys in shops. They can bring um, their whole setup where they're going with a dolly on the side. Then they can take this off, pop it on a dolly. Now they have two workstations they can work around, get all their tools out of, and make them as effective as possible. Yeah, I saw, especially with that dolly now, I saw uh, on your demo over there where they're working on finishing the side of a car, that they use that in order to create a, a flex stack pack. and we can be working on the car. And if we need to grab something out of here, like let's say I need a couple more, um, you know, different brushes, different pads and stuff like that. It's all accessible to me right here. These are also compatible with our rack rail system. So if we wanted to hang polishers off the sides, any tools, any stuff like that, um, we'll have really no issues with it. A couple new things that also came out, we have these soft sided totes, right? 180 degree rotating handle allows you to really store this wherever it's got to go, no problems. And it connects right into our half mounting system. Just like the little org boxes, the fans do, all that stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. Awesome. Well, right. thanks for the for the tour, Grant. We yep. appreciate it. It was great to see you. Yeah, it was good to see you guys as well. You know, all right. Have a great have show. to stay in touch with our best friends first and all that <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> Next year, starting off with our new pencil engraving tool. Hooks up to the air hose. What do we got there? Four feet? Four feet, okay. Next, new line of high quality riveters. Quarter inch and three sixteenths. Very Staying cool. Moving over here. There's our catalog. We'll be updating that next year. Awesome. Okay, so Bell Center is currently out. Uh, So that's the new stuff coming out January 24. Now we're moving over to the Sanders. We have a full line of low vibration, lube free, orbital and geared Sanders. We have starting at one inch, three inch, five inch, six inch, and eight inch Sanders. Uh, only one that has the jitterbug. And then a unique tool here that we're the only ones that have is a also, Polisher. We designate two different orbits. The blue is a 332nd orbit, and the black is a 316th orbit. Again, one, three, five, six, and eight inch sanders. Now we're gonna head over to our heavy duty offering. Starting with the three quarter inch impacts. We have two metal versions, the 1680-A, and this is the 1777, nice compact platform for that. Those are our metal offerings. When it comes to the composite, we have the 1600TH-A, and then this is the 1770, a little bit smaller version, close to the same power. Another unique one, a very smooth running pin clutch mechanism, the 1750K. Now on to the one inch drive, three different pistol grip, but this is our newest one, part number 1870. 2,100 foot-pounds of torque. 2,100? Only weighs 12 pounds. Wow. That's a composite version. Then you get into the metal versions, 1880-P-A. Very cool. And then our strongest pistol is the 1890-P. Okay. Now for your uh, truck tires. Animals. For your truck tires, this is our newest one. This is a 1993-VXL. 
weighs only 22 pounds, produces 2,200 foot pounds of torque. 2,200. Any of these vibrotherm tools in this kind of color scheme has a three year warranty. Everything else has a uh, two year warranty. All right. So, Sounds speaking good. of vibrotherm, yeah. start off with a high, half inch, we also got 3H, but it's a whole new impact mechanism. You see right here is a cutaway. So we've taken the twin hammers, put them inside a cylinder that cuts the vibration in half. Wow. Causes the hammers to engage the anvil flush every time. So the wear is not as bad as a regular twin hammer. Therefore, we have a three year warranty on any of these tools that are uh, with that color scheme. We have the stubby version. This is the three ace. Here's the half inch. And then here's the Sounds good. So AirCat, we have authorized distributors throughout North America, uh, your tool and equipment houses, the auto parts store, uh, some online stores, Summit Racing, Northern Hydro, Northern Tool and Equipment, uh, but any major uh, auto parts equipment, tool and equipment or uh, parts house, get them, PBE supplies, anyone who's got automotive products, should be able to get them. Awesome, thanks Matt, appreciate it. Thank you. Hey guys, we just stepped into this pro spot booth. My buddy Ryan here is tell us about something really cool. This is a spot weld, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, so this is our new I5S uh, resistant spot welder. So the easiest way to put it to make sense is this is how cars are welded together at the factory. So when okay. you peel back the weather strip and you see those little dots on the yep, cars, sure. that's exactly what this machine does. So this is a brand new machine for us where we incorporated, incorporated a lot of new technology, um, but also some ergonomics to help the technician. Okay. So like adding the rotating gun bracket on here so the technician can go into any position to be able to weld. Um, also, the rotating collar, being able to loosen this up, spin it around. Oh, that's great. So it gives the technician the ability to access pretty much any part of any vehicle. We also have different arm selections that you that she's out there driving. So this um, is going to track the individual welds. So it welds. tracks so you know the individual in welds. Not only was it welded, but it was welded properly based yep. on the material. Yep, and you can that do that, sense. and you can document that and send that out into an email and, and have it all on file for, for the customer you know, to prove for it. Very cool, Ryan. So, super cool. So how much is a system like this? This system runs about 36,000 list price. So all right. it's a nice little mini car. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, it looks great. Thanks, Ryan. I really yeah, appreciate it, buddy. No problem at all. all right, Thanks have a, a lot. Good show. of 2024. I'm super okay. excited about the set. 194 piece kit. You got color coded, nut setters, color coded, metric, SAE, impact bits, hammer, awesome. level. You got measuring tool, you got oh. hex keys, screwdrivers and multi-drivers. Then you got a Dude, whole row gifts of just keep pliers on pliers and adjustable wrenches. And then you get some oh. sockets. Oh my gosh. Complete, metric, imperial, right? Look at that. It's beautiful, right? Oh, this is great. And then? Price point yet? Yes, it's gonna be at $14.99 SRP. Sounds good. All right, we have got to talk about this guy right here. This is an amazing new torque screwdriver. And luckily, I've got Brian here to tell me all about it. Brian, 
this is amazing. It, it goes down to such a small measurement. Yes, so the cool thing with the Weha Torque Vario screwdrivers is it's very precise uh, measurements. So this will go down to like 0.4 Newton meters. Uh, we also have versions that will go down to inch ounces. That's less than finger tight, Rob. Wow. So what we do here is, say you're working on you know something precision, control panels, yep. uh, remote control stuff. Don't want to over tighten them. Yep, and I mean, it's, you can feel it for yourself. It is less than finger tight. Go ahead, give it a click. Yeah, please. Loosen that up. Oh, wow, yep. that is very cool. Another key feature with this is you need a tool to adjust the torque. Okay. So a precision environment like this, there is zero possibility to bump the torque off its preferred setting. So, oh, I, I see, I see, I see. So by requiring me to remove the yep. bit that we're using, use this other thing. Yes. There's no adjustment on the outside that's no going to be a slight change. Because those tiny, tiny numbers are important. Correct, yes. Yeah. Yep. That is very, High precision very cool. for very specific applications. Awesome. All right, so this is a little test they put together for the, the Weha Torque screwdriver. So they got a little timer here. There you go. That works just like, they use these guys for uh, Rubik's Cube testing for competitions. So I'm going to put my hands down. I have to pick this up, set it to 1.4 Newton meters, so very, very tiny setting, then grab my bit. And then I've got to tighten all six of these screws and then put my hand back down and see how fast I can do it. I heard that like 16 seconds is like the record, which I'll be happy if I do this in less than 30, 30 minutes. So hang on here. All right, are we ready? And here we go. Where's 1.4? There it is. They said that was just, there it goes. Two, three. Four, five, six, hey, 22 seconds, I'll take 22, that's less than 30 minutes. Not bad, yeah, that's really, really cool. Next one in the BTAG booth, my friend Kelly here is gonna tell us all about this amazing demonstration we just saw walking by the booth. Thank you so much, Kelly, for walking us through this, I appreciate it, but you guys are fixing dents with what looks like magic. Can you explain how this works? Well, it's uh, interesting you call it that because it is the magic wand kit that we have here on the Hotbox Pro. So uh, this is the steel repair station. What we're doing is uh, my friend and uh, coworker Andreas is taking us through some small damage repairs. That's based off of uh, some basic fundamentals of uh, understanding steel repair and that. But the Hotbox is uh, really fantastic on repairing soft type damages. This one on steel, we do have an aluminum version as well though. Okay, can we see this work? Absolutely, Andreas. All right, I'll get out of the way. So Andreas is gonna show us uh, some soft, soft damage. Soft damage. Soft damage. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger for you right now. So notice how you can see the softness. Yeah. See the lift? So now as it cools down, it starts to shrink back down, relax. And then he can go in and just massage it a little bit more. Maybe he can do some knockdown techniques on it. But these are all things that we teach, fundamentals of small yeah. damage repair. Guys, this is not PDR. This is understanding how to reduce damages by understanding what type of damages we are. Fair and then going through our whole suite of tools to use what is the least invasive, least intrusive and most efficient option based off skills and understanding. That's very cool. It's All right. not just a box. If I want to find out more about the VTAG system, then where do I go? VTAGNorthAmerica.com. That's Sounds super good. easy. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Fantastic. Thanks Thank yeah. the demo, man. Sorry to jump in here, but I've got a platinum tool deal for you from OhioPowerTool.com this week. So you see this Milwaukee axe blade with carbide teeth? Well, the pros at OPT think that if you use a three pack of these blades, you'll never buy anything else. So this week, if you purchase just $20 worth of Milwaukee tools or accessories, they're going to send you one of these $24 axe blade three packs for free. But move quick because this code will only work for the first 100 people. Now, the code you need is TS29875. Now back to the SEMA goodness. What's really exciting about the CB28 is that in this particular case, it is the most powerful 28 inch evaporative cooler in the world. Um, it's running about 3000 RPM. And um, a lot of the things that we have done here as everything has been about creating a 
air efficiency and how it travels. That's how we get a vortex. That's how the fan turns so that we can optimize the, the, the air that it travels. The big thing about it too is because it is so it blows so hard that we've had to reinforce almost every aspect of the fan. But at this point right now, we've been able to prove that it's the most <coughs> capable evaporative cooler uh, in the world. That's absolutely amazing. So how much is something like this? Uh, as far as price-wise is concerned, you have a standard CB28, you're looking right about $2,800. And how much square footage would that cover? It, well, for that one, about 8,000 square foot. For this one at 3,000 RPM, you're looking somewhere in the range of about 24,000 square foot. Wow. So, yeah, and you know, it has a high DB because the, the motor and the prop is turning so fast, but we initially designed it for Australian uh, Roughnecks so, because they can't have anything within about a 30 foot radius. So by being able to create this, we're able to get that air out to them. Whereas otherwise there's not other uh, coolers that can, can do that. Cool. All right, where do I find out more about Coolboss? If you go to coolboss.com, uh, easy. You can see every, everything about our line. Uh, it's all right there. Sounds good. Thank you. guys, that's going to do it for Sarah and I at SEMA 2023. I want to go ahead and thank our sponsors, Spider, Skill, Block Ladder, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for somebody else this weekend, and we'll see you next week. I'm going to go steal a car. Don't steal a car. Just one. Why do I bring her to these things?